What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to put a DLL in a Gorilla Tag fan game. Me personally, I'm doing TCG's modding game because it's a safe... Um... It's a safe... Um... Modding game, so you can't get banned. But me personally, I'll be showing you all. I've... Uh... I'm doing BSU client right here which has all the mods you could ever want including if i go to the room mods it takes a second it lags for like two seconds but it has give all cosmetics and then i literally have the the admin badge the stick just every cosmetic and finger painters not in this update this is all the cosmetics Yeah, for this update in this game. Um, but yeah, I'll be showing y'all that how to do that. So, um, I'm gonna show y'all some more mods real quick. Uh, it has like movement mods. You can do like platforms, which are normal, like they're rotatable so if i wanted to like vert you would go like straight up or while well, having it like kind of like this and then you can it's for both hands so you can go ahead and this game is a modded game so like everybody has mods you can do this for most girls tag fan games like certain ones like if you wanted to do it for gorilla tag you can't do it it has to have like some bypass like there's some certain games that you can do and some that you can't and some more excellent exhale fly um doesn't work trigger fly use your left trigger and then you can Fly, pretty crazy. No clip works. Wall walk. Now this isn't the best wall walk I've ever seen. Like it still works, just like you press grip on the you like it's just yeah. Spider walk. Uh, spider walk. No grav. No gravity. Just. Reset. TP gun. Just press trigger. Right, there's that little dot. See this? You can put it wherever. So if I wanted to TP to that table. Well, I missed it. But uh, if I wanted to TP to that tree right there. Yeah. There. TP to stump. Just press trigger. You spawn in the middle it doesn't matter where you are if you're like all the way over here press trigger but all it's not plain plats it's like very big plats which i don't recommend using you still can i mean if you really want to be safe about trying to wall run you don't want to miss a single one i mean this is good like not really but, I mean, I don't like them, you know. Oh, wall plats, it's just that basically the same thing. Spear plats, it's just, they don't really work, but it's, yeah, quad plats. Yeah, I'm never using those in my life. Cylinder. So that's why I don't play that game. There's a lot of people who like to mod. And that I'm just doing this for a showcase. 
You're just people who ghost troll. That's not a real person. Because there is, like, kit guns and stuff, like, which I'll show y'all. Like, I can lag him out if I wanted to. Like, I'm going to join code, though. Here. I'll put on crash and annoying. Uh, you, there's, like, lag all crash gun, which is, um, the left grip and then trigger, which all you want to do, well, I'll put that on if that kid comes to me, and crash gun, look, it's a, it won't let you, you know, <gasps> you should, yeah, lag gun, it's a, Grip again. A little light on. Wait. I might go do that to that kid. No tag freeze. I'll keep going. on. Tag gun. It's a tag gun. But it's a. Like that. It points down whenever you. Like. Do it. So you gotta point it up and then tag him. Yeah. I might. I might go lag that kid. Because he was being that PVP. PVVB kid. Because there's no ghosts in this game. Ghost. Yeah, so that was a different one. They may be real in a little bit. So let's show you how to do this. First of all, you need a lemon loader. So go look at a tutorial on how to get lemon loader. And look at a tutorial on how to get CX File Explorer. Okay. Then once you have lemon loader and CX File Explorer, what you're going to need to do, get the game you want. And then what you want to do is get the game you want, go to lemon loader. Now, this takes a while to open. It takes, like, a minute. And then, so we're going to wait that out. Um, now, make sure, like, and subscribe for more content. And Lemon Installer just takes a while. So, yeah. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to wait that. So, you just want to go on Lemon Installer. It takes, like, a minute to load. And then, you want to scroll down. Well, click skip on all of that things that you'll see. And then, ask data permission. Just click allow on both of those. And then, you want to go to the game that you want to mod. And then, find it. Click it. And click patch. And then, it'll take, like, two minutes to do that patching. And then, just click yes on all that. And then, what you want to do... To load into your game for me it's tcg's modding game so if you did tcg's modding game what you will want to do is load in this will take like five minutes to load in because it's like basically loading lemon installer and patching the game so you can this is so you can get the mods folder and like all the plugins it's just free plugins now, whenever you load in, which for me, I've already done it, so I don't gotta wait. It'll be back to normal after you do that. What you wanna do is get, um, the mod that you're gonna want. For me, it is going to be, um, for me, it's going to be BSU client. Um, it's, I'll link that in the description, their Discord. And then, once you get the Discord, just go to the, uh, here, I'll show you. You just get the BSU kind of Discord if you already have it, then it's fine. Um. Yeah. So, get the BSU kind of Discord. For me, I already have it. It's this one right here. BSU's modding hub. Go to menu download. And then get the latest version that they have. For me, it's the BSU Client V10 Fix DLL. So you want to go and install that. And then once you have that, you're going to need these three things. So go to your library. Go to Applications. Click this. Go to Unknown Sources. You are going to need Shizuku. 
you're going to need activity launcher and you're going to need Zarchiver right here and I'm going to show you how to get those real quick. Go to your browser, search up Shizuku. I'll try to link these in the description. Just search up Shizuku APK, which I'm going to show you how to do. APK. I'm going to try to link these in the description if I can. And you'll see APK, the one by APK Pure. Click it. Um, click verify, and then then you want to click close if one of those ads pop up. Click download APK. Scroll down until you see download apk click that and then it'll start downloading and do the same for activity launcher and zarchiver and make sure it's by apk peer that's just my trusted website and then what you want to do whenever you install uh activity launcher and all these uh which again look up a tutorial on how to get cx file explorer so you can install them by going to downloads and then clicking the things what you want to do is go to activity launcher click search search up set setting and then scroll down until you see that settings click settings launch activity scroll all the way down to about headset and then you want to scroll all the way down to build number whenever you see whenever you click build about headset because i'm not going to do it because i'm not going to do editing so it's going to show all my personal information so click about headset and scroll all the way down and then click build number about 10 times then it'll say you are a developer so go to system go to developer options scroll down until you see wireless debugging click it click allow click wireless debugging open up shizuku click pair device with pairing code click pairing and then type in that code which for me it's 691274 click ok and then click start it will start doing all this coding stuff so um, whenever it does that, click um, click authorize two applications and make sure these are both on CX File Explorer and Zarchiver because you can do whichever one. Now, if you open up Zarchiver, click these, go to settings, go to root, make click type root access, click Shizuku, and make sure just these two are on because you need that one on. Then. Click that Android data. You'll have a working file manager, which for me, I have it on CX File Explorer 2, but you can do it on whichever one. I'll do it on this. Now, you're, what you're going to do is go into Zarchiver, go to download, go to the BSU client V10 fix DLL, and go to the mod menu that you downloaded just find it hold it copy go up here make sure you click these two dots go to android data go to your girl my dog is cooking go to the game that you want to do for me it is um uh, let me find it ECGM. And the way that you're going to see this is by loading that game, which takes a while. Here it is. TCG's modding game. Click it. Files. Now this is what you did by patching it. This is what will pop up. If you did it wrong, you'll just see IL2CPP. And then click mods. And then click paste. And make sure you do that. Um, make sure you do the mod menu that you wanted, and then just click that. 
Now you have what I did. But me personally, I did a few more games. I'll show y'all. I did uh, this game right here, Nox Tag Alpha. Which I'll go ahead and show y'all. Um, now this is a um, itch.io games that I did. That you can, some store games you can do. Um, yeah, here. So this, and then just press Y on your controller. And then you'll see this. And then again, it lags out, but this is your pointer that you're going to use. So if I wanted to hold it like this, I, that's just your pointer. Like, so you just, yeah. A ban of aid just makes it so people can't ban you. Uh, give all cosmetics. There you go. You have to do it each time, and then they won't load first try, so you got to get the badges immediately, and then go back to whatever you want. Now, for me, GT1 badge in this game is the finger finger. But if I wanted to, the stick is rainbow in this game, so I got that. Uh, the admin badge. All this cool stuff. And then, yeah, the game's cool. Y'all should definitely try it out. Um, and then it has the same exact mods. Like, uh, name mods. Now, I already did the name mod where you can change your name to nothing. But you can do that. Uh, yeah, you can change that to your name. Heart name, which puts a heart in your name. Um, I don't know if it'll work right now because I'm on a different one. IDBSU on top. Yeah. You can change that no name and stuff. And then crash and annoying mods. These are really annoying. Crash gun. I showed you all these earlier. There. How bad? There. Is it? Crash going right. So. Kick on the work. Vibrate control words. Uh, vibrates. All spammers. That um, don't work. So, um, I think I gotta be on a public for most of these. And tag on, which is one of my personal favorites. Because you can just tag them when using this blue dot. But that's really gonna be it for this video. I'll link all that stuff in the description. And that's it. Bye guys.